Hello everyone. Today we are just going to get an, a message for each sign. Sorry. Um, I will leave the timestamps below. We're going to go ahead and start with Aquarius because we are still in Aquarius season. So we're going to go ahead and get a message for all of my Aquariuses first. I will leave a timestamp below and this is just a general message of what your spirit guides want to tell you right now. Okay. So let's go ahead and connect to our spirit guides. Click your timestamp below if you're not an Aquarius. So let's see what's going on. What are your messages, Aquarius? What's your special message? Oh, we have flowers. Be generous. Success, emotional fulfillment will all be yours. Okay. So I definitely feel, uh, and then when the card is 11, I love that number. Um, we love repeating numbers. So. Um, for you, I definitely feel like there is an idea for success or an idea for something to happen. And this would be, this could be success in all places in your life, right? Around love, finances, home, whatever this is for you, you're asking for some success. You're asking for something to come in for you. And um, your spirit guides are, it's all yours. Everything that you've been asking for, there's possibilities and more for this to happen. Um, and when I, when I feel like the be generous, I think that's more of a trust yourself. Wow. We have the ace of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and the temperance. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is around finances, okay? Just because we do have the pentacles coming out, ace of pentacles, this could definitely be towards something else. But Aquarius, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading for you. Um, I'm not doing super long readings, but um, I mean, it's a be the best way to start off our reading, right? You um, are going to be rewarded for your hard work. There is some hard work that you are putting into this. I feel like you, um, with the be generous, I feel like sometimes you get really hard on yourself. Um, or like if something is not working, you start getting um, negative, you start worrying about things. Um, remember that remember to stay calm and through the like through the storm like there is some peace um nothing good comes easy and that's like what i feel for you i i feel like this is like a business venture or like maybe you're trying to get a new job um this definitely could be around um new things right because we have the ace of pentacles so it's like new beginnings but this is also like new abundance coming in for you um I, and I, I feel like sometimes you get really hard on yourself. Like, I feel like this is like a business or a new idea, um, a new job like that you've been asking for. It's going to come in. I see that there's this abundance that's coming in for you, but it's like remain calm, remain positive, remain strong about this. Um, and I feel for you, you feel a little like back and forth, like you don't trust that this is going to happen. Okay. But remain positive Aquarius because your message is so beautiful. You you have something big coming in for you okay Ooh. all right let's just see Aquarius you got one bonus card so let's see two of Pentacles I calmly make the best decision possible okay if there's two things ahead of you Aquarius go with um, what your heart is telling you don't give up on whatever this is okay continue to push forward because there's something beautiful coming in for you okay Aquarius there's something um, massively um, I feel like it's like a, a big payoff and it's been a struggle for a while. Let's go on to Pisces. All right, Pisces, your card just flew out and your card is marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. All right, my Pisces, just same thing for you. Wow, what a beautiful message. Um, you're attracting something that you've been really working um, towards. Like this could be a relationship because we do have um, marriage coming out. But I feel like this is like marrying to your like emotional happiness, whatever that means for you. There is something where it's like you've been asking for this change. You've been asking um, for this happiness or this fulfillment that you haven't felt in a long time. And this fulfillment is coming forward for you, okay? We're about to meet this um, fulfillment or this um, happiness that we didn't have before. So let's go ahead and just pull three clarifying cards for you, Pisces. All right. I was feeling this card. Oh, wow. And we have the Ace of Cups. We have the... Um, 
Well, Ace of Pentacles. So you are definitely, we have Nine of Pentacles coming out again, and then the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So for you, Pisces, I definitely feel like you are moving into this spot of fulfillment, whatever that means for you, because this is general, but there's been a spot where you kind of haven't had this fulfillment in a while. And when I say that, I feel like um, emotionally you felt drained. Um, physically you felt drained okay um and i feel like this is like opening something new or going um through a new door okay like there was a door closed for you and we're opening this um i feel like you might not trust the work that you're putting in towards this new like i feel like you're opening a door i feel like sometimes you might not trust whatever this is that you're opening um this like new door that you're walking through i feel like you're kind of scared, like, is this gonna work? Is this door meant for me? Um, if I close this door, can I go back? Like, but you're not gonna wanna go back, okay? I feel like there's gonna be, when you open this door, there's a enormous amount of support that you hadn't expected before, okay? You're welcoming in like some true fulfillment, whatever that means. And I feel like this is more emotional fulfillment for you, okay? Where it's like, you're finally like, closing a chapter to open a completely new one and you you might not know at this very second what door is opening but i i feel like a lot of you do know the direction that you're trying to go in because i see that like emotionally physically um mentally we've been drained in a lot of areas in our life and i feel like you've been looking for that you've been looking for this peace to come back in this happiness to come back in okay and you're welcoming that you've been working on that and we're like about to open that door because we have marriage like you have a new commitment coming through that's going to fulfill you so 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 much and this could be relationship this could be job this could be home but like you have been feeling a certain way for so long um but i i just feel like there's like this spot where you were up here okay and now or sorry you were down here and now we're up here we're moving we're elevating up into our happy energy and I feel for a long time like you've just felt drained like I feel this drained energy but we're closing that chapter and we're opening a new door um I feel like with this door opening too though Pisces you're a little worried like is is this meant for me is this gonna work out for me Pisces yes it absolutely is okay trust the process trust the support manifest your happiness all right Aries let's see what we have coming out for you See what's coming out for all my Aries. What's your special message? Proposal. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Wow. The last, um, the first three, right? We had Aquarius, Pisces, and now Aries. All these are about a new opportunity coming in, whether this be for you financially or for you in your love opportunity. That's very specific. It's either business or love where it's like you've been asking for this new opportunity, this new happiness to come in, right? Um, and it's coming in, Aries. There's no need to worry. Let's see. Let's pull three cards for my Aries to get a clarifier. Three cards for my Aries. All right, we have King of Pentacles. I de deserve financial security. We have the Queen of Wands. I am naturally creative. And we have the Six of Swords. I know that peacefully time, or I know that peaceful times will come. Okay. All right, Aries, with the Swords energy coming out, I feel like there was like a very hard time for you. Um, I feel like you went through a very emotional, unstable spot. And I feel like this is like around relationships, okay? This could be financial because we do have financial coming out, but I feel like there's been a long time coming. And this would be a couple years of some struggle um, with the Swords of coming out because I feel like the Swords always represent some very hard energy, okay? And I feel like you've kept um, in this mindset where there's going to be happy times. There's going to be a time where you can um, be successful, be creative. Um, I feel like it's about being secure. Okay, Aries, like you were in a very insecure spot, whether this be financially, relationship wise, we were in an in, in, insecure spot. And this could be both where it's like you kind of just felt like your life was like not like you were picking up the pieces, but then another piece would fall out but you're like eventually it has to stick right like eventually like I feel like that's like where you were at it's like eventually this has to work eventually this is gonna work out for you and absolutely it is you know that peaceful times are coming and when you're going through this hard time and Aries I just want to share this with you um 
you know, sometimes when like I, you know, get into an argument with my husband or when I um, feel very negative about a situation, I get really hard on myself and I'm like, well, how do I fix this situation? What can I do to do this? Um, but that, like not only do I, I do that, like I get mad at myself for being in this position or for this happening. Like I yell at myself and I'm negative to myself. And I've realized when that happens, a lot more comes falling down rather than just the the little pieces right so when you're feeling negative wherever this is in your life you need to remember that peaceful times are coming that you're working towards this and um you might have an idea to help yourself financially or um you might have an idea about like the security in your life go with that because you are creative i feel like your mind is so beautiful and bright and sometimes you get really hard on yourself because you're like if it was then i wouldn't be in this spot if it is that I promise you, Aries, we all go through a struggle to get to where we deserve to be or, um, you know, like I feel like there's like a lesson in learning like you, you're going to have this beautiful um, love or this beautiful job and you wouldn't have appreciated as much if you didn't go through that struggle and I feel like that's so annoying to hear for you. But I promise that you're beautiful, like you're a beautiful soul, Aries. And whether this be love, financial, or both, it's coming in. Peaceful times are coming for you, okay? And I feel like this is sooner rather than later. I feel like you're at the end of your journey of this like lesson um, that you needed to learn. Like we're at the end of that journey. It's going to come very soon. And just continue to stay positive, okay? When we're in a bad mind space, um, and you start attacking yourself and this is what i mean like you can feel your energy right like you are you need to feel your um emotions if you are feeling really negative if you're feeling really down feel those emotions let yourself process those emotions okay but don't be negative on yourself. If you are telling yourself that you're not worthy, if you're telling yourself that you're not worth it, if you're telling yourself this, that, and the other, you're going to put that energy out there and you don't want to. You are worthy of this situation. Even though it's not working out at this very, very moment, you're still worthy. You still matter. You still deserve the security, okay? And that's where your mindset needs to be. Remember that you are worth it and there is peaceful times coming for you. Whatever this is that you're asking for, it's coming in. Don't be hard on yourself. Feel your emotions, but don't say negative things to yourself, okay, Aries? All right. Let's move on to all of my Tauruses. What is my Tauruses special message? What do all my what are the spirit guides have to say to all my Tauruses? Let's see. I'm just gonna pull one card. Alright. We have thorns. Okay. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring you will bring in new and positives for your future. Okay. All right, Tauruses, right now I feel like there's a little bit of a struggle going on for you, okay? Um, and I feel like this could be around any spot, but there's something where you're challenging on, um, and this with regards to your future, okay? Um, I feel like sometimes we get really um, hard when there's something ahead of us or when there's like a struggle. I feel like you could like want to throw in the towel or like you, you see that there's thorns ahead of you, right? I feel like you kind of see the path ahead of you and you see that it's a little hard or there's going to be a struggle here, okay? I feel like you see, like you see your path clear as day and when you see that there's like some bumps in the road or you're like, well, that's a little hard. That's like a harder road to go through. I don't want to get a flat tire. I don't want to do this. Um, I want to take, you know, a different route. Don't. Uh, the challenges make us who we are and um believe it or not i feel like for you it's like hard work brings the best success okay um when you've worked really hard to get here like it's from here to here when you've worked really hard to get from this spot to this spot you come into a spot of um like understanding it's like i've worked so hard to get to this spot i have i have done everything in the, my power to make this happen and it's like you're not gonna give um up on that because you're like no 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 i worked my my you know ass off to get here like i i made sure that this was gonna happen for me and not anybody is gonna take this situation for me i went from this hard spot i went through the the struggle of this okay um 
I feel like there's a spot of you needing to feel secure and trusting your path, okay? You need to know that this path ahead of you is meant, and I feel like when you start going down this path, it might look really scary. Um, I don't know why I'm like relating this. So I did white water rafting um, last summer, right? Like I really wanted to go. I seen it though, and it was the scariest thing. Um, there was like all kinds of rocks. Like I was worried about falling out, hurting myself, like all kinds of stuff, okay? like. If you look up whitewater rafting, it's a little scary. Um, so, and especially like down in the rivers here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I feel like for you, you're looking at the path, but then when you're on the path, like I feel like it's not that hard for you. Like you're seeing things a lot scarier than what they are. And I feel like um, there's like this spot of success or the spot of working towards to get here. Okay. Um, and I feel like it's like, I'm working so hard to get to this spot. Like you're you're here and you, you want to be here. You need to be positive on yourself, okay? And remember that like, I feel like in every step of the way, like your spirit guides are going to reward you. I don't know why, but I see like a dog getting a treat. I don't really like to relate you to a dog, okay? Like I'm not saying that, but like what I'm seeing is I feel like they're showing me like you're learning new tricks along the way and they're going to reward you. Um, whether this be like where you're trying to get somewhere financially, whether you're trying to um, get somewhere else, like, you know, wherever this spot is for you in your life, I feel like there is a long road ahead. As far as you see, I, I feel like you see it as like this long, long journey. Like, I feel like you think it's like this entire long journey. But once you start walking it, like, it's so much easier than you think, okay? Um, I feel like there's definitely going to be some bumps in the road. Don't get me wrong, especially with the thorns. There's, there's some t challenging times ahead of you. But I feel like with every challenge that's completed you're you're gonna get rewarded um if this is a spot on like moving i would see like if this is like it's like moving from one situation to a completely different situation and you're like well there's so many things i need to do from get to from a to b like there's so many things i need to do okay believe in yourself believe that like no matter what the situation is you're going to be able to get to be no matter what it is anything can be thrown in your way any obstacle can be here and you're going to get there be sure of yourself believe in yourself and that's all you need okay taurus that's all you need all right my gemini's let's get your special message what do your spirit guides have to say to you what are your spirit guides bringing forward for you Go ahead. We're just going to put one card for all my Geminis. What's my Gemini's special message? Just going to pull one card. My Gemini's. Oh, Gemini, we got marriage. I think Pisces had something very similar. If you are in with a Pisces or something like that, this could be a big commitment that you two are deciding to make. And I, this doesn't have to be marriage. This could be moving in. This could be something if you are with a Pisces. Pisces had a similar message, okay? You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. And this could be in a relationship. This could be um, in a career, in a home. Whatever this is for you, there is a little bit of unstable stable energy when it comes to fulfillment and around love okay and Gemini this is going to um I don't know I, I feel like there's like a spot where you've been like struggling in a relationship um and I feel like this is also job like I feel like this is not just one spot for you it's like there's been a struggle um all over the board and that's not that you don't have a job it's not that you don't have a lover um but Gemini I feel like it's like been a very um hard hard spot for you recently okay um but I, I see that you've been you might even be like a little negative, but I feel like you stay positive. Like there's something that you're fighting for. And because you're continuing to stay positive, because you're continuing to believe in your path. Oh, wow. Yep. The Knight of Swords, the Justice, and the Magician. Okay. I was just going to say, I feel like because you're staying positive on yourself, because you're believing in yourself, um, I, I really feel like there's... Um, there's like something that's been hard for you, okay? There's a Gemini, you're going through it, whether this be emotionally or financially, but I kind of feel like this is both. Like um, this could be with your person. This could be um, like where you've had struggles in relationships. This could be where your job has just been kind of overwhelming you because you have so much going on in your personal life. Plus going um, into this, like I feel like all over the board, you've kind of been struggling, okay? But I feel like you know that you are this like, this this person who has it all together okay and i feel like you're manifesting um what truly makes you happy i feel like um 
you understand when something's not fair you understand when something's holding you back or you understand that like there's like bumps in the road does that make sense like you understand that and you don't get hard on yourself and because of you not you you allow yourself to feel emotion but you don't start hating on yourself and um if you do hate on yourself you're you're coming into this like on choosing your battles carefully because i feel like you understand that your words to yourself hurt just as much as coming from anybody else and when you put that out there it's not good for you or or you know like anybody else coming into your energy because like I feel for um you like when you start being negative like you realize like so many things um else play out and I don't know I feel like there's like something where you, you, this I feel like goes both places in your life where you've been really struggling with something in your personal life and it's kind of like overlapping into your your um financial life into your work life into your friends like there's something going on in your personal life, okay? And I feel like you're kind of telling yourself that you deserve more. You deserve um, your own happiness. And continue to stay in that energy because you do deserve this, okay? And you're going to manifest what you're truly desiring. You're manifesting um, what truly makes you happy. And I feel like there's like a worry of like losing something, but but stay positive okay because we're not we're not gonna lose anything i feel like there's only um stuff to gain here and not losses okay where you are speaking your truth to yourself and through that your spirit guides are listening and you're like i want this to change i want this to be better i don't want this situation to 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 move i don't want to lose this um you know trying to validate my own feelings and your spirit guides are listening and they're coming in um with some help okay you are manifesting something beautiful for yourself and i would say like this is around the board this isn't just in one spot i feel like for you gemini it's like across the board all right um so continue to stay positive continue when you're feeling down just tell yourself that you are beautiful and that you matter and that you are manifesting what you desire your spirit guides are listening okay and they're going to help you um get to the spot that you are asking to go all right my cancers Let's pull a message for all my cancers. What's cancer's special message? Let's pull a card for all my cancers. What is cancer's special message? All right, we have angel. Your angels are guiding, protecting you on your spiritual journey. All right, my Cancers, I definitely feel um, for some of you Cancers, you've kind of been in this spot of, I, I just, I as soon as I seen that card, like I, I feel like this overflowing, um, it's like you kind of been like, why is this happening? Like, why isn't this working out for me? Um, you're in the spot of like learning and I feel like this is like learning how beautiful you are and how much you matter. And I feel for some reason like there was like trauma or some issues prior and like your spirit guides are like no we're not taking that anymore like you deserve the best as i said that it was um 22 minutes and 22 seconds i just happened to like look down at the um video so as i said that it was 22 minutes and 22 seconds um you know cancers you are you really i feel like there's like a spot of like going through it and it's like you kind of just want to find this like emotional happiness or whatever that means for you so we have nine of wands yep we have page of wands and then we have four of wands i love that okay you are a very strong individual okay you're very strong and i feel like for you um you kind of put this strong front on okay and it's like if there is something that makes you um, unhappy or if there's something that makes you feel a little insecure um i don't know i feel like this could have been like past relationships um past jobs that didn't work out um homes that weren't working out for you okay i feel like you um try to stay strong and i feel like people view you as this like very strong um individual and sometimes it's like you need that help you need that love you need that um that like encouragement and sometimes i feel like um i feel like you you kind of get away from that because it's like you put on this like strong front and nobody realizes like what you really need um and this would i feel like goes across the board um you're strong and you know that you are but sometimes like you need to be willing to ask for help you need to be willing um to tell somebody like hey i'm struggling in this spot and i just need a shoulder to lean on i just need um you know this a little bit of a good encouragement okay 
I feel like there is something coming in for you. Um, I feel like the universe, the gods, your loved ones, your spirit guides, like they're bringing in this happiness, okay? They're like holding your hand as you're going through this journey. And I feel like this journey is like you learning what truly makes you happy. I really feel for a long time like you would settle for things because you just didn't want, like if this was a relationship, you didn't want to be alone. If this was a job, you didn't want to go without. If this was a home, you wanted to just like kind of have a place where you had a roof over your head you had food in your belly like i feel like you would settle for whatever was available because like you just i feel like for some reason cancer i feel like that's kind of the energy that you thought that you deserved but i promise you there is new things coming in for you and it's going to be something beautiful something that you deserve something um where you don't need to show this like strong side of you where you do um have availability to just kind of open up and and be real and like let somebody know like um hey even in your job like where it's like hey i i'm struggling today i i just need a little bit of help i just need a little bit of understanding that's coming forward okay you're going to have this and i feel right now you're on this journey where um you're kind of learning that you're learning that like it's time for you to be happy it's time for you to have success and i feel for you like you're finding your voice you're finding um your backbone in this sense right if you're really struggling like i feel like you're going to be put in a spot to have to ask for help or have to ask um or voice this like i if this is somebody overstepping boundaries you're going to voice this okay and it's finally going to just like be available for you to have like a voice or um I just, I just feel like your spirit guides are encouraging you to do what makes you happy and for a long time you kind of would just go for it or settle for certain things that didn't that didn't belong in your life because you were settling, okay? You're going to feel this blissful energy, to feel this, um, I feel like this fulfillment that you haven't felt before. Like that's going to come in and when it comes in I feel like you're going to be a little untrustworthy but I promise Cancer this is going to be something you can trust. This is going to be um, something that, that matters to you, okay? All right, all my Cancers, I hope you enjoyed your message. We're now moving on to all my Leos. Let's see, Leos, what message is here for you? What do the spirit guides have to say to all my Leos? Oh, all right, Leos, we have goals coming out. We had a couple cards fall out, but goals is the one um, that flipped forward. Let me grab it. All right, it says, progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. All right, Leos, I feel like you have a goal. I mean, clearly you have a goal um, and it has been set for yourself. And I feel like your goal has kind of, um, I feel like you feel like it's a little unreachable or you feel like it, it might not be as successful as you think it is, okay? And um, with the coins being on the goal, um, I definitely feel like this could be a financial goal where you're trying to save money up, you're trying to get money for a certain thing, whether this be um, a vacation, a home, a car, like you're saving money up, okay? You're saving money up for a move maybe, that's why, because I feel vacation for some reason. Um, I feel like this could be like a move or something like that. All right, let's see, we had the King of Swords, I trust my ability to make um, strategic decisions. We have the Page of Cups. I am as young as I choose to feel. And Ace of Wands. I follow my passion. Okay. Um, Leo, I was just going to say that I feel with that coming out, I don't know why you would think that like you're you're never too young to start your goals okay i want to start that th um i want to start that by or start by saying that i feel like you have a goal or maybe you're like switching your passion in life okay because we have passions you have a new start coming and i feel like if this is relationship wise um this is career wise whatever this is i feel for you sometimes you're like well um you know i'm, I'm too old for that i or i don't um i already have gone so far down this path like i can't switch it now like um, there's something like that, but you're very passionate about something else. And it's like, you want to change your decision. Um, trust in your decisions. Okay. I feel like you, you need to trust in your decisions. And if you think that you're too old, if you think that you can't do this, if you think that like this path isn't meant for you, like that's, I feel like it's all inside your mind. You need to choose to feel like I can follow my passion at any time. It doesn't matter my age. Um, it doesn't matter 
um, my ability, like I can do this, okay? Trust in your ability to make a decision. Trust in yourself to follow your passion. I feel like there's like a spot where you like really are struggling to um, like make the jump to following this like goal or deciding um, to change your path. Um, and this could be where you've been working in a spot for so long, but now you're like, I'm, I'm deciding that I wanna go over here. Um, this could be where you have been um, you know, you lived in this certain spot for super like a long time and now you're like ready to move to a completely new state. Um, this could be where you you worked corporate and now you want to start your own business. This could be where you've been in a lot, lifetime long relationship um, and now you're you're moving to a completely new spot. OK, and as I said, moving, I definitely and I so I, I kept feeling like vacation, something like that. And then like the ding goes off for those who are thinking about moving. It's time to move. It's time to follow your passion, um, whatever you are feeling. It's time to go towards this and don't think that you're ever um, too old or not in the capacity to do so or if you feel like I don't don't have the um, the means to do this you absolutely do you're gonna find a way manifest your destiny okay you have something new coming for you you have something new coming for you especially with the ace of wands finishing the reading you have something new and it's like follow your passion this is going to be something you love you have a new opportunity ahead of you and it's being placed because you're asking for it um i i feel like too you could be where like there was an opportunity on the um rise for you okay and you're like i don't know if i should take it i don't know if this is meant for me it is follow your passion whatever makes you happy jump for it all right, Leo, that was your message. I love your message. I think your message was probably my favorite so far. Um, let's get all of my Virgos messages. Virgos, Oops, hold on, let me grab the other cards. I started to shuffle in the tarot. So let's get your fortune card out first. All right, all my Virgos, what is the message for you? All right, celebrations. You are ready to bring in new exciting things into your life. All right, Virgo. All right, you're about to celebrate some new happiness, okay? Um, I don't know if this is like where you've kind of been in a little bit of a struggle or you kind of are looking for something new, like a new exciting thing in your life because I see like that light, like I feel like you're trying to find your light again. And Virgo, it's coming in. Um, I feel like you're ready. All right, we have this star. I am inspired and positive about my future. Okay, um, Virgo, have you gone in a spot where you kind of just feel like, you know, kind of like you're going with the flow? There's not really anything like one way or another. You kind of, I just feel like there's like a, I'm not sure how to explain that. It's like a very um, back and forth type of energy. I feel like when it comes to your future, like one moment you're happy, one moment you're not. You're about to find that light. You're about to find your purpose. And I feel like it's, that's what it, I'm trying to look for. I feel like a lot of you are trying to find like a purpose or your happiness, okay? And we're about to move into that. You need to stay positive. Yeah, wow. Okay. Especially with the Four of Swords coming out, Four of Swords and Four of Wands. Okay. Trust that your spirit guides wouldn't put you in any situations that you couldn't overcome, okay? If you're in a spot right now and you're feeling very like held back or you're feeling like there's no way I could I could move forward, um, I feel like there's like a spot of just feeling very restricted, okay? Um, and some days like you're very positive about it and other days you're kind of just like, oh, this is hard. Um, I feel like you need to take a moment. Um, for some reason, meditation is coming to my mind. And I know if you're not a meditator, like that's probably like uh, annoying to hear. Don't meditate then. Go to the bath. Um, and I always say go to the bath. Um, you know, if you're somebody who works out, if you're somebody who, um, you know, takes a shower, spend an extra 10 minutes in the shower and just let like let that energy clear. If you're somebody who is working out, feel like you're sweating out that um, insecurity, sweating out all of that negativity. Put some meditation music on though and like um, affirmations about believing in yourself, about your happiness coming through. I feel like there's like a spark that's about to happen. Um, and I feel for a long time like you're like, well, why can't I just find my spot in life? Like why is this like any time I go a different direction, like I don't find my spot. And as I'm saying like your light, I look up and I see um, my tarot decks and none of them, like nothing else is showing, but I see this beautiful bright star on my deep and dangerous messages, okay? I definitely feel for you, Virgos, like you get very hard or very negative on yourself and we need to let that go, okay? You're about to find um, 
your spot and I feel like for a long time like and this could be like you know where you had it once and you lost it or you've never had like this like spot of light or a spot of like feeling like um like you have your purpose and you're about to find it okay continue to like put that energy out there where you want your purpose um I feel like too it's like when you when somebody asks you like well what do you want for the future you're like I don't really know um I feel like there's like a spot of like you need to meditate, um, listen to affirmations, sit in the bath, sit in the shower, um, go outside. If you're somebody who needs to go outside, I, for some reason I feel like um, if you're somebody who's like, um, I, I don't know why I want to say like smoker or something like that. If you're somebody who um, does that, go outside and sit there and have like your moment um, and just sit there. I don't know why I feel that um, some of you might not be, some of you may Go outside and have your moment. Find your spot where you can just have that like 10 minutes of time where you can clear your mind and ask your guides to connect with you, okay? Because you're about to rediscover something in yourself and I feel like your guides are trying to bring you options, but I feel like you're not open to them right now. Like it's kind of like blocked from you and you need to be willing to tell them like you're willing to connect, you're willing to receive answers because you're kind of in this spot of like, where do I go next? And your spirit guides are like, I'm here. I want to give you an answer, but you need to listen to me. So give your spirit guides the 10 minutes. And I promise you, you're going to find some answers. Okay, Virgo. All right. Let's move on to all of my Libras. Let's see what my Libra's special messages are. All right. Let's see. Libra, what's your special message? All my Libra special message. I'm gonna pull one card for all my Libras. Oh, all right, Libra, your card wanted to jump on out. Let's see what your card says. Oh, all right, we have Chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. All right. All right, Libra, um, this is very clear. You have an idea and your spirit guides are telling you to keep continuing to fight for it. Keep, continue to go. Um, be confident in yourself. Don't put any of that negativity out there. I feel like there's like an idea in your head. Um, this could be already in the works. Um, this could be just something that you've recently started thinking of. Libra, charge for it. Go towards it because it's, it's going to happen for you. Um, you just need to be confident and trust yourself, okay? All right, we have the Six of Swords. I know, that, oh, okay, so you, I was feeling like it could be a little bit of a hard time, Libra. Um, I feel like you're kind of going through a struggle of some kind right now, and so you're trying to look for a new spot. Um, okay, um, I feel like you're kind of trying to look for something new to come in, and it's like really hard for you. It's a struggle for something new to come in for you, okay? Um, and I, I just feel for you, know that peaceful times are coming. Um, also know that you are supported. If you feel really alone or you're feeling really, um, I, I, I'm not sure. I feel like, okay, so there's a couple messages I'm getting for you, Libra. I feel like you could be really going through it. And, um, this could be financially, this could be, um, relationship wise. I feel like where it's like, where, when am I going to find this happiness? Um, and Libra, it's coming in for you. Okay. Just continue to stay strong. Continue to believe in yourself. Um, I feel like for you, there might be like a time where you just need to sit there and pray. You need to talk to your guides. You need to ask God to take over and just kind of like fully submit. Um, I feel like there's like a struggle or a feeling of insecurity. Know that you're supported. If you need to have a conversation with somebody, if you need a shoulder to, to lean on, reach out to one of your friends, reach out to a family member. And I feel like for you, you're like, there's nobody that would want to be there. Absolutely. Okay. That's what spirit is telling me right now. There is people that are willing to support you. There are people that are willing to listen to you. And I feel for you, you don't realize how important you are um, to other people. You don't realize like how, um, I just feel like for you, like you don't realize that and you're never alone, whether this mean like if you're physically alone and you're like, you know, I, I've kind of like lost um, like whatever, talk to your spirit guides because I promise you they're like, no, you're not alone, whether you have somebody next to you or not, like we are here for you. Um, surrender to God and be like, I, I need you to take over. And if you don't believe into God, then surrender and ask spirit to take over for you, okay? Because I see that there's like something that you are asking for, like this victory, this success that you're asking for. Um, 
and I, I don't know, sometimes Libra, I feel like you have a checklist and in order for you to get to your main goal, you're like, I need to do everything on this checklist. Sometimes when we have to do a checklist or something like that, sometimes like we, we check box um, three and then we check box one or we can check box six and then three um, or vice versa. Like it doesn't have to go in order. And I think that's something that you need to understand is that like you are somebody who like I feel like it's like a very planned situation. Sometimes we we have to check this box before we can check this box or this box comes first before this box. But you don't know it yet because you haven't um, started that. And I feel like sometimes like plans change, but you need to be OK with that go um forward confidently feel like everything that you are asking for is going to happen live in the moment as if it's already happening rather than oh i'll do this when this does happen okay um and libra if you're really feeling like you need to talk to somebody like you need this then reach out to somebody i promise you there's somebody there to listen to you and your spirit guys are telling me that like you don't you don't like there there's somebody there for you okay whether you believe it or not i promise you somebody is there for you okay so libra please if you're needing that help or you're needing that then then just ask for it all right my scorpios let's get your message let's get all messages for all my scorpios let's pull some messages for all my scorpios Scorpios, what's your message? Love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Okay, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this message is specifically about love, clearly. Um, I feel like you um, could be feeling a little down in your like love area where maybe you're feeling not as loved or maybe you're feeling um, like you haven't, you don't have love for whatever it is that you're doing anymore. Um, for some reason, I feel some of you could, and this is like for some of you, I, I feel like there's like a spot in life where you thought that you were going to love what you were doing. And this, like, I feel like this is financially or job wise. And you kind of felt like a little burnt out and I feel like you don't want to move, um, you know, your positions or something, or maybe you do want to. Um, but I feel like for you, you're going to reignite that light, whether this be in something new or in the spot that you're in right now. And this could be in relationship wise too, where you, I feel like it's like about, yeah, it's, I feel like your, your light's about to reignite. Okay. Oh, you got two cards. All right. So you're the only one that's gotten four so far. So we have Ace of Swords coming out first. I always, always re um, like represent this with like, there was a hard time, a very hard time. And now we're moving through, we're like breaking through, we're making that change. Okay. Um, you, because this is the page of pentacles, you're about to go through this growth. I feel that you haven't had before. Um, and I really feel for you, it's like your light kind of like you had this like light burning, um, your fire burning Scorpio. And I feel like your light got dim, 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 dim. And now it's out. And you're like, I, I don't know if this is where you're trying to ask for your light to, to reignite here or you're deciding to go with something new, okay? Um, if you're deciding to go with something new, I, I just want you to know whatever this, this decision is for you, whatever direction you're trying to go, it's going to be successful. And that's what your guides want to say is like, it's going to be successful in whatever you're deciding to do. And I feel like, like you have this calling for something inside of you, whether this be... Um, you know, in your relationship, um, a new relationship, your job, a new job, your home. Um, I feel like there was like a light that you had that was bright and it was shining and like over time it got dim and then it kind of just went out. Um, and now you're like, no, I need my light back. And um, you're fighting for that again. Okay. Trust in your growth, trust in the direction and trust that your spirit guides and yourself would never lead you astray. And you're about to celebrate like the, the spark of this light again or the spark of something. I feel like you're about to achieve something or um, you're about to go in a direction and you're going to be so excited that you're, you're it's like achievable. I feel like for you, you don't believe that this is going to happen for you, Scorpio. And I promise like it's going to happen. Your goals are achievable. Um this idea, this direction that you're trying to head is achievable for you and you need to trust that, okay? Um, Scorpio, you're about to find that love, um, that reignition for yourself. And I, I, I just, that's that's the message I keep getting for you. It's like, I, I'm gonna have this reignition. I'm gonna have this relight for myself. All right, I hope all my Scorpios enjoy the message. All my fellow Sagittarius's, let's get our special message to all my fellow Sagittarius. What is our 
special message. Let's get some messages. Oh, my fellow Sages, what's our message? We're gonna pull one card. Ooh, marriage. So we have, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. All right, um, Sagittarius is, I feel like there's been a spot where you kind of have felt unfulfilled for a while or felt, um, you know, maybe it's like even in love, like where you've been feeling a little like unloved or feeling, um, you know, just I feel like a fulfillment. We're just going to say fulfillment and this goes and all across the board where you've kind of just been feeling down or like you haven't had like that purpose or that um, finding, okay? And Sagittarius, you're attracting it because I feel like you've been positive through whatever this is for you. It's like you, um, like you get down, you get negative, and then we switch our mindset around, okay? So we have the Three of Cups. I embrace joyful opportunities. We have the Hanged Man, yeah, okay, and then the Seven of Cups. All right, Sagittarius. So for you, I feel like there is a lot of opportunities on the horizon, okay? And for some reason, I feel, um, I'm just going to pull three clarifiers because, you know, Sagittarius here. So I'll get some extra messages for my Sagittarius. Um, I feel for you, it's like you kind of were stuck and now you're kind of looking at this from a different way. I feel like for you... Um, I don't know. I, for some t reason, I feel like you're finding your truth uh, or, or like your worth, okay? And I feel for a long time, Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, and the Three of Swords. Okay, yes. All right, and with the Three of Swords coming out at the end, I just want to say I feel like this is like um, the energy that you're leaving behind, okay? Because I wanted those to clarify. I feel like um, you're trying to find your truth and your worth. And if somebody or something is like knocking that from you, you know that that's not a spot that you belong anymore. And I feel, um, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like you were very stuck in a position and you're like, I want this to happen. I want this to work out for me. And I just feel for you, like, um, I don't know if somebody's questioning your worth. Um, there's a situation that's questioning your worth, if it's you questioning your worth. Um, but I feel like there's like, you know the truth about what you you bring to the table or about what you can provide. And it's about trusting yourself, okay? Trust that you are going to find whatever it is that you're asking for. Um, the universe is bringing you something beautiful with the, the Wheel of Fortune. Like it's finally time for you to like have this Wheel of Success. And we have the Magician because I feel like you've been in a spot of like the Three of Swords. It's like heartache, depression, sadness. We're about to move out of that. I just want to pull two clarifiers on the Three of Swords. I want to pull two clarifiers on the Three of Swords. Two clarifiers on the Three of Swords. Six of Wands and King of Wands. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is around like happiness um, or success, okay? I feel for you, Sagittarius, you're finally learning your worth. You're finally like learning the truth. And I feel like there's been other people or other situations that kind of like keep you confined, okay? Because they understand that you are worth so much or that you can do so much, okay? And you're very successful. Um, I feel like you're about to achieve something or you've been really working on something to achieve I don't know if my baby just woke up or if that was my turtle, but either way, um, it's okay if she walks in. Um, I, I just feel like there is something that you're trying to achieve, Sagittarius. I feel like there is something where it's like you've been really feeling depressed, held back from. Um, I feel like it's like you've been really in the struggle or having anxiety. Um, about certain things and I feel like other people other situations have been holding you back because you are so successful and once you realize how successful you are you're gonna be like screw you like I could have been doing this the whole time this could have been um, something that I've been doing this whole time but you held me back from this and you don't deserve to be here with me during my success whether this be a job you know love um, finances um, a home spot you know security wise like I just feel like there's like a spot where you've been asking for this success this happiness happiness the celebration okay you've been asking for this and um with that coming out I just I, I feel like you've been very stuck for a while and it's caused you a lot of heartache 
but now we're moving into something that we deserve and you need to trust yourself you need to trust and know your worth and i feel like you know your worth but like somebody can say something and you're like well maybe me am i am i am i doing something wrong or um am i worth this you absolutely are whatever it is that you have been trying to get towards you're absolutely worth it and you can do whatever it is that you're asking for sagittarius you have a very strong mind and you need to believe in that okay I hope all my Sagittariuses enjoyed their message. Now moving on to all of my Capricorns. What's Capricorn's special message? Ooh, all right, Capricorn. So we have beware. Um, we have beware of who you trust at this time you know what let's um let's pull a couple clarifiers for that i don't know if this is um people that are in your life or situations in your life okay i feel like sometimes people want to like, camouflage themselves to pretend that they're and um, they have the best interest for you um but sometimes i feel like they don't and they're they they know that you um are worth a lot they know like how strong you are they um they, they know that you are going to be successful, whatever that may be. And um, this could be like where somebody, like you and somebody had gone into an argument and um, they're just telling you what you want to hear because they, they're like, I, I, whatever. Um, but I feel like there's like somebody camouflaging in your life. They're pretending to be somebody they're not. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, somebody could be holding you back from, this could be, you know, a situation or something where it's like, holding you back from um, personal growth and I feel like you know like your worth and um, somebody could be like just telling you what you want to hear in order to get you know to get you to stay in a situation and I feel like this could be a boss for some reason I feel like there could be um, a boss where you've really like been asking for this like I feel like you are I, I'm not sure this could be a boss or a person where it's like there's somebody where there was like an issue or a conflict and somebody's like telling you what you want to hear okay um I feel like this is going to work out in your favor whatever this is um this is going to work out in your favor and this could be where this person was um where you just kind of found out about this okay where this could have been a situation where you kind of have now come into a realization about somebody or something and you need to trust that you are going to get what you desire um i feel like there was this I, this could be like where somebody was holding you back and you're like oh no more and sometimes i feel like you are such a kind person capricorn so like when you find out somebody's doing you dirty or when you find out like this situation wasn't working out in one way or another okay i feel for you it's like you need to trust your opportunities um like there could be an opportunity where it's like you can say something about a situation um or like there's a spot for growth and i feel like somebody could be telling you something that you want to hear so that way they like hold you back from this okay but you're going to know what you need to do um i feel like sometimes like your own heart gets in the way of like what you're feeling because you're like oh i don't want to leave this behind i i want to trust this person i want to trust this situation just ask the universe, ask your spirit guides, ask, um, ask that, like, I, I feel like ask God, um, ask your angels, ask your loved ones to bring in or to clear your mind and whatever, I feel like for you, if you're sitting in a spot and you're like, I need to, um, I, I need to be in this like spot of happiness. I need to, um, be in this spot of, um, I'm not sure. I feel like there's like this this desire for something and sometimes I feel like you allow other people to hold you back, right? Because I feel like there's like a spot of being held back or being restricted for something and it's like people telling you what you want to hear or, or a situation playing out to be something that it's not. And I feel like you're coming into the realization of this um, and there's going to be something coming forward for you that's going to be something that you've manifested or something that like you truly desire and it's something that like actually matters to you, okay? I feel like you are just such a kind-hearted person when sometimes like something comes available or like something comes up like you're like you know what you're right like I I don't need to be like this crazy about this situation or I do trust you I'm sorry for like making you feel like I don't whatever that the case may be okay just trust that your guides are leading you the right way and if you feel like this person or the situation isn't working out for you then it's not working out for you trust your tr trust your intuition because that's your guides allowing you to know like 
that this isn't meant for you and that you deserve something more. Okay, Capricorn? I hope that you all enjoyed your messages. Um, if you guys are interested in personal messages um, about a, a situation, a loved one, anything like that, I do go live um, three times a week. So I'm going to be doing lives three times a week. And I will be doing a um, personal message where it's like, or each signed message um, time stamped. I will be doing that once a week. Um, so I'll be doing three lives and one of these once a week and a weekly message. So if you guys are interested in, you know, asking a personal question, I will also be offering personal readings here very soon, hopefully by um, February 20th. Um, my, my site will be live, so we'll just see. Um, but by February 20th, you'll be able to book a personal completely reading, um, which will be 30 minutes and we will do a um, Zoom, which is I will basically be answering any questions that you have or communicating, you know, asking you questions. It'll be face-to-face, -face, okay? Um, so I hope that everybody enjoys their message. Um, and it, like I said, if you want a personal, please hit the bell just so you can be reminded um, of when I go live. It will notify you to just let you know that I am live. I hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day.